we've already talked about um, global and local tests, making sure they're met. We've talked about model fit. You always have to test model fit when you have a different model testing a different hypothesis. So we tested model fit for mediation, for interactions, and for multigroup effects. Um, and we have to report that model fit if the model has changed between uh, testing one or another hypothesis. So uh, the last thing, of course, report your findings in a concise table. Ideally, you have a table that, uh, or multiple tables that look something like this. Let me go down here, control enter, um, insert table. You have something like this a hypothesis, evidence, uh, conclusion, or something like that. And so something like H1, whatever it was, the evidence, you know, betas, p values. So beta and p values is probably significant or su sufficient. And then um, include here whether it was supported, supported or, or not supported. And do that for each of your hypotheses, H2, etc. So that's what you do there. The last thing you might want to do, like in your discussion section or still in your analysis section if you'd like, or even in your findings section, just somewhere in the back end, is you might want to include a post hoc power analysis for any unsupported direct effects hypotheses. So in this model, we didn't actually theorize any direct effects. Um, I just had mediation, moderation, and multigroup. But what if we had theorized that, uh, for example, atypical use leads to decision quality? Let me go see if that's even significant. So we go over here, go look at estimates. Atypical use to decision quality is not significant. Well, for this gender, this is males. For females, also not significant. So uh, let me go back to a model where it's not moderated. So save this and go back to path initial. Where's path? I don't have path initial. Here's path mediation. Uh, save changes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Run this one more time. Look at that estimate. See if it's significant. Um, from atypical use to decision quality. No, not significant. Let's say we theorized it would be significant. Let's find out if we have enough power even to detect significant effects. What I would do is go to Google, and I would Google the following. I would Google uh, power analysis SOPER, S-O-P-E-R. Here I would get the post hoc statistical power calculator from Daniel Soper. And it wants a few things. Number of predictors. In this case, if we go look at decision quality, it had one, two, three, four predictors, four arrows pointing into it. So I put four here. Observed R square. Well, hit the up arrow. It was 0 0.36. 0 0.36. Probability level, I would like a 90% probability. So, oh, not, sorry, <laughs> a 0 0.1 there, because that's the alpha level. So uh, 0.05 is for 95, 0.1 is for 90. Our sample size was uh, 377, I believe, and then calculate. And it'll tell you if you had enough power. Observe statistical power, one. What does that mean? That means if a significant effect had actually existed, we were bound to find it. We had a 100% chance of finding it. Um, you want above 0.8 here, 80% chance of finding statistically significant effects. Um, if we were to change this to 0.05, oops, 05, that might change this a little bit. Nope, still perfect. If we change this down to like 100, not that we would, but let's say our sample size is low, um, then there we go. We had a 99% chance of finding it. Really, that's because of the strong R square here. If we change that to 0.15, then you'll see we'll have a less likely chance of finding it. 92% chance. Anyway. So that's a post hoc power analysis. If it comes out above 0.8, you can say we did a post hoc power analysis, and uh, in fact, we did have power to uh, detect significant effects that might have existed. Therefore, we are confident that this non significant effect that we observe um, is truly non significant. It's not just because we had not enough power, it is just not significant. And that I believe is that. Then go write your paper. 
you can use all this stuff below to help you write your paper. I've updated this as well, by the way. Okay, hope that was helpful.